If you're new to hard surface modeling in Blender, this video is for you. Let's go. Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'm gonna give you 10 awesome tips on how you can improve your performance in Blender, especially in hard surface. Now I'm talking to beginners, but if you're intermediate, it's also applying to you. So stick around, you might learn something cool. Tip number one, stick with simple shapes. That is really important. When you're first starting out, it can be helpful to focus on modeling simple shapes like boxes, cylinder, etc. These shapes will help you get a feel for Blender's modeling tools and interface. Without that knowledge, you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. So I know it is enticing to model a mech. I know it's exciting to model a gun, but one needs to learn how to walk before attempting running. So, you know, learn how to walk start simple tip number two use reference images okay and i recommend you use them every time you possibly can for references i'm using something that's called pure ref it's a very easy to use program very light and you can keep it on top of other programs or you know open browsers whatever and uh, i have about 40 or 50 gigabytes of pure ref files and all you need to do is just gather them up put them in pure ref save them as a file and you're done and you can create a lot of categorized libraries that will help you to you know um to create new models and come up with really interesting ideas so i'm gonna open one of them and you can see i have a lot of references here for bots and mechs so if i want to create let's say i don't know a mech joint or a mech leg i have a lot of different references i can look through them and you know kind of search for an anchor that's gonna grab me and say hey this is pretty cool how about we're gonna create something in that style but with a twist okay and this is how you can expand your skills for hard surface modeling that's the best way to develop your visual library in your brain and train your brain to see and understand mechanical design or hard surface in general it will tremendously help you with building your skill tip number three use the correct modeling tools. Blender has a variety of modeling tools, each of which is designed for a specific purpose. Make sure you're using the right tool for the job as it will make your modeling process much easier. Start using add-ons, guys. I started using add-ons day one. Five add-ons, hard ops, box cutter, machine tool, mesh machine, kit ops. No excuses, okay? You can always learn the basics at the same time learning add-ons, you know, because it's all about efficiency. Add-ons are a definition of efficiency and trust me, you want to be efficient because time is everything. Tip number four, don't try to learn everything at once. You will learn nothing and waste your time. Key to learning anything is focus and consistency okay so focus on hard surface manuals tools and slowly build your own workflow that you will feel comfortable with only then you can start expanding okay so if you know what you want to do i don't care if it's hard surface sculpting or fucking cat grooming okay just focus all right focus on one thing so structured content here is the king and let me tell you we have something fantastic for you we have a free course that's right free course it's called jumpstart hard service in blender and it will give you all the tools and more to really structure that you know knowledge in your brain and teach you the proper way of thinking and working in hard surface from day one you don't need to know anything about blender to jump into that course we will teach you literally everything you need to know from the menus to the rendering so go ahead click on the link in the description grab the course is brilliant you will love it tip number five use boolean operations booleans are awesome okay and they'll create angles but no one gives a shit the key here is design efficiency shading and you know and the final product okay if you have to create something for a specific reason like animation bending curving vfx then you need to follow specific guidelines but if you just creating you know game assets or even something for your portfolio it doesn't matter use booleans because they're quick okay they can be very very powerful and the king here for these tools will be hard ups and box cutter of course these are the add-ons that we use all the time if you're interested links are in the video description and we also have a free course that can teach you how to use these tools it's called sci-fi terminal in blender and the link is in the video description tip number six use bevel and weighted normals now the bevel modifier allows you to add this roundness to details to hard edges because you know nothing in real life is infinitely sharp and corners in blender are infinitely sharp no matter how close you zoom in it's gonna be infinitely sharp you want to round that up to 
make the light bounce off of it, it will basically define edges and create a way better kind of a definition of a form. So you want to use bevels. Now bevels and booleans, they can create some shading problems, which is why you should be using weighted normal modifier at the end of your modifier stack. And that's really important. And bevels can cause some problems with booleans because you know topology issue, etc. So we have yet another course for you to cover that problem. And it's all about topology. It's a brand new topology handbook for Blender. Link in the video description. And like I said, it's free. So with all these three courses, you have zero excuse uses okay tip number seven use the right level of detail it's important to strike a balance between having too much detail and not enough detail okay too much detail can make a model difficult to work with while not enough detail will make it look unrealistic so you need to kind of balance this in text experience i have a really cool video on that on my youtube channel so go ahead and watch it i'm going to link it in the video description also you can see the thumbnail on a screen this will give you some good advice and some good insight into detailing your models but you know you don't want to overdo it because we're not you know we're not working at disney so you want to we want to keep our sanity right so just you know take it easy and use the right level of detail tip number eight don't worry too much about topology okay especially at the beginning instead focus on getting the shapes and proportion of your model right this is really essential you can you can always fix topology a bit later on if there is something major yeah sure go ahead and fix it but if it's minor don't worry about it okay so don't stress about it because you will focus on details whereas you're supposed to be focusing on the whole overall picture so get the proportions right and then you can fix the details. Do you see what I mean? Tip number nine, learn basics of rendering and lighting. That is really crucial. I can see 95 or more percent of people skipping that step and that's why they are stuck. Okay, it doesn't matter how good of a modeler you are, you need to be able to present your work well. And let me tell you, even not a specifically advanced model can look better in a good light with a good camera angle, good post processing, that really complicated and advanced model because it's all about the package. It's all about how people see that. It's all marketing, guys, okay? So you can do wonders with one light. You don't need anything complicated, okay? One light, 90% of my images on my art station are done with one light, okay? Give me one light and I can do anything. So when you master one light, you're good. We have a fantastic masterclass on our membership. If you're interested in membership and coaching, then we have a coaching program on our website. And there is a masterclass on one light, the entire masterclass on how to use one light. That's how important it is to understand basics of lighting. And we also have a fantastic course, you know, the Rendering University, which uh, will teach you everything you need to know about lighting, composition, framing, etc. It's going really in depth, but trust me, you want to start with basics, okay? And tip number 10, it's practice, practice, practice. The best best way to improve your hard surface modeling skills is to sit on your ass and practice, all right? Then no one's gonna do it for you, okay? No excuses, guys. The more you model, the better you become. That's the simple truth, okay? So you can talk about it as much as you want. You can doodle and fiddle with yourself as much as you want, but if you're not gonna sit the hell down and do the work, nothing's gonna happen. Fuck all will happen. You'll be stuck in this, you know, in one place. So practice, practice, practice. And that refers to everything, guys, including hard surface your life and anything else all right so it's all about practice anyway guys that's it thanks so much for watching like i said all the links to the free content are in the video description there are three courses you can choose from and i highly recommend if you're a beginner to start with a jump start because it's fantastic it will give you a really strong foundation for your future journey in blender thanks again see you in the next one